Hey guys, Kyrie Renee here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression review of, drum roll please, BT Skin. I am so excited to be doing this review. So if you want to see my first impression, my thoughts and all that kind of stuff, be sure to stay tuned. So before we get into this first impressions review, of course I got a little backstory, but if you wanna hear this backstory, a timestamp will be down below so you can just hop to the product review, okay? But if you wanna hear the story, stay with me. Drop like a ducky emoji. Let me know that you was here to hear this story, okay? All right, let's get into it, boom. So I was on Instagram, right? And Rihanna was like, hey girl, I'm releasing this 50 skin product. Let me send it to you. Okay, you probably like Kaya and Rihanna didn't hit you up and she did see you these products. L let me live and let me tell the story the way I want to tell the story, okay? So I saw her like little air promo of the Fenty Skin and everybody looked so chocolatey and brown and just like they was in the sun with all this beautiful clear skin. And I was just like, I want this. I want to look like these people. I want my skin to be like this. So girl, let me buy your products. And she was like, sis, I'm gonna sell them to you. Just be patient. And the products came in this nice little cute box here. Yes, it says Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty, and all this, and it came packaged. So like I said, I haven't even opened these yet. I'm gonna use them with y'all. We're gonna use these together. I want y'all to come with me as I wash my face and do this whole routine, because I want, I want y'all to be here with me on this. So let's go ahead and get into these products. Let's open them up. Okay, so boom. The first thing we have here, when you, when you get it, it comes with like these nice little, you know, sealable strips. So you know nobody has been in your stuff. It's only been you. You are the first one to use it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and take this little thing off. To open this product, you just gotta give it like a little twist. Isn't that cool? So I don't have to fiddle with a top and all that kind of stuff. And then she was like, it got like some Barbados cherries in it. So this would be loaded with vitamin C. It got green tea in it. So you know that's an antioxidant. So it's supposed to help with inflammation. So it got ginkgo biloba in it. It's supposed to help with oil and clarifying the skin and all this kind of stuff. And it has fig in it. And that's supposed to be an antioxidant. And it has quince. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. And it's supposed to be help with like condition or moisturizing and all this kind of stuff. But the biggest thing to me was like, sis was like, girl, this is going to help you remove your makeup and clean your skin and all this kind of stuff. Like you can't forget your makeup wipes. And I'm just like, really, Ree? Really? I just don't believe it. So you know what we gonna do. We gonna test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a full face on one, okay? Full face. And we gonna see. Y'all ready? Come on, let, let's, let's do this. Let's go to the bathroom, come on. All right, y'all, so I'm back. And y'all probably like, no, Kai, did you really put it on a full face? I sure did. I'm a scientist by trade. Most of my job is testing hypotheses, trying to figure out what's wrong and get to the right answer. So of course, I was gonna keep the same energy with Fenty Skin's facial cleanser, okay? And as a backup, I run my makeup wipes just in case, and I burn a white washcloth just to see if there's any makeup left over, okay? Okay, y'all got high hopes. I got high hopes. The first thing I want to do is just go ahead and dampen my face a little bit. And then open that two-in-one cleanser. I'm so excited to use this. I went ahead and put it on my face, so I begin to lather. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos, okay? And as you can see, I went ahead and just scrubbed my face, trying to get all that makeup off, doing the best that I can. And I kept on scrubbing all over my eyes, eyebrows, and look how much makeup was on my hands. So I went ahead and just rinsed my hands and then rinsed my face. And it was then I knew we gotta do it again. And this time I just wanted to focus more on my lips, my hairline, and just kinda like around my cheeks. Okay, so I just finished washing my face with the two-in-one cleanser. And let's get this makeup wipe. Let's see, let's see. Oh, my nose. Okay. Cause a lot of times I'll find like leftover makeup in my nose creases. It's a little bit. Just a little bit. Right around the hairline. And y'all saw with the second wash, I really tried to get into that hairline. Oh, oh okay, wait a minute now. Let's get this cheek, let's see. And y'all saw I really like, try to really focus on my cheeks. My lips. Still got lipstick on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna get under this chin, this chin line here. That did okay. So, the two-in-one cleanser, yes, I think it can get off the makeup. I think it'll probably be more beneficial of you to use a makeup wipe first to get off all the makeup and then go in with the cleanser, just to make sure you got it really, really clean. So it's safe to say, I don't even need to use the white washcloth to determine if I really got it clean. 
as you can see, uh -uh, uh -uh, you still need your makeup wipes. So always keep those handy, okay? Okay, y'all. So because I had a full face of makeup on, you guys didn't really get a good chance to see it lather and all that kind of stuff. And I do actually want to be fair and make sure you guys, you know, really could see what it can really do. And it comes on out. You can see like the consistency. It's kind of thick. It doesn't like fall off your hand or between my fingers. It's like nice and smooth. It's really, really smooth and soft. I'm using the back of my hand and it kind of just like glides on. It has a really nice light scent almost like lightly floral with a hint of berries. I know she says, she said it has like Barbados cherries in it. So that's probably like the scent you get. And it, you know, when you rub it in, it kind of like lathers up really, really nice and gets really, really white. So that's what you would have seen had I not had makeup on my face. So I can add a little water to my hand so you guys can see. Like you don't really get like a, a soapy lather, you know, but it's more just like a, a smoothing cream really. So. If that's something that you're looking for in a cleanser, then honey, this is it. Go ahead and get it. It's nice and smooth, lightly scented. If your skin is sensitive to scents, that's something you may need to consider. So let me go ahead and rinse my hands and let you know how my face feels. My face feels dry as a corn husk, okay? If y'all know what a corn husk is, it's like you go to the grocery store and you see like a big corn bin or a farmer's market, you see like all the corn laid out and that stuff that's around the corn, the husk. If you've taken time to pull those off before you took your, your ears of corn home, that's what my skin feels like right now. But I want to be fair, because y'all know I had to wash it twice to get the makeup off, and then one other time just to get the remaining off. So that could be because, you know, my face is overwashed. But I just want to let y'all know, shorty is kind of dry right now. But, you know, just touching my face right now, my face feels clean. I'm not going to lie, it feels clean but it feels dry. So let's go on to this fat water and let's, you know, rehydrate my skin and let's get into this. All right, let me put a little tab with this fat water, okay? Okay, so this fat water has Barbados cherries in it, so boom, it's loaded packed with vitamin C. It has niacinamide in it, and that's a product that I already use in my normal face routine, so I was pretty excited to see that in there. So it has some Australian lemon myrtle, never heard of that, and witch hazel in it, and that's supposed to, you know, dry up the oil and help refine the pores. Now, I'm a little nervous with witch hazel being in this because generally I try to find uh, toners that are very moisturizing and bring moisture back into my face because when I put witch hazel on my skin or anything that's like over drying, my pores be like, oh, you trying to dry us up, honey? You trying to dry us up? You don't want no oil? More oil for you, sis. More pimples for you, sis. More blackheads for you, sis. So it makes me a little nervous that this has witch hazel in it. Okay, so it has Japanese raisin tree in it, and that's supposed to help detoxify. Never heard of that, so hopefully it actually does what she said it's gonna do. Cactus flower. So hopefully this cactus flower will overpower that lemon myrtle and that witch hazel so it can be really hydrating. Cause that's what she said it's supposed to do. This cactus flower will be really hydrating. So hopefully, you know, that will give me the moisture that I need. It has green tea and fig, and we know green tea is antioxidant, and fig is antioxidant as well. So hopefully these will give my skin exactly what they need, okay? And it also comes with a nice little cap on top. So you know like everything was like really, really clean. Everything was secure before it even got to you and that nobody else has used it or tampered with it before it got into your possessions. And just like the cleanser, this is a... So I'm gonna pour a little this fat water. I love the name, fat water. It kind of gives me a serum feel. Let's go ahead and rub my fingers together like I normally do. I put the serum, you know the main points of my face, but I have too much in my hand right now. But we're gonna go ahead and rub it in. It's okay, let's rub this in like I normally do, okay? And this has a very light scent to it too. It smells similar to the face cleanser. Like when I rub my serums, they don't like to go up the face, okay? We don't wanna create wrinkles, okay? And any leftover, I like to go ahead and put it on my neck, okay? If you guys are using any hydrating serums or moisturizers or anything, Make sure you, you treat your neck the same way you treat your face, okay? Because you can have a 25 year old face, but this neck will give you away, okay? So make sure you hit your, your whole decolletage area. Make sure you moisturize that as well, okay? I'm not saying having an older neck is a problem. If that's what you wanna look like, girl, do your thing. But me, I want my neck and face to match. If my neck looking real young, I want my face to look real young and vice versa, okay? It kind of dries really, really fast, so you kind of gotta move fast and make sure you get it all mixed in. It doesn't leave any like burning sensation, so to speak, but I do have like some type of sensation on my face. I don't know, maybe like a tightening feel, maybe a slight tingle, and that's probably from the witch hazel and that lemon myrtle. My face definitely does feel more hydrated than it did prior to me putting this on after that cleanser, so that's good news. So the fat water, Okay, I I'll go with her on this fat water. This fat water may do what she says it's gonna do. Now, if you're like me and you know, witch hazel is not your jam, you're all about 
hydration and making sure you put hydrating things back into the skin what i would probably recommend you do is go in with your normal toner like i use a rose water toner that's very hydrating has hyaluronic acid in it so what i would probably do with this is probably use my toner my my rose water toner first and then go ahead and throw this on tops if i'm using the entire line the sequential order all right so the cool thing about this it came in this nice little box and the packaging yeah i'm a big fan of packaging i love packaging i get tickled you know packaging is like fabulous it says love your skin respect the planet and you can refill this so i definitely did like this when you get it in two parts just go ahead and drop this in here turn the dial and it fits nicely in there i like it and then if you push down on it none of the products going to squirt out until you twist it back up and pump into it okay so the cool thing about this moisturizer it is supposed to be invisible and it's 30 spf so i think that's pretty cool so this has kalahari melanin in it so this is supposed to be moisturizing hydrating the skin it's niacinamide that's something that i use already in my skincare routine you know to help the look of my pores fade dark mark it has hyaluronic acid and aloe so that's help with moisturization and baobab which is also a moisturizer y'all i'm probably butchering these names and rihanna girl i'm sorry but i'm really trying um so it's been like a minute or two after i put this fat one up here and my face still just kind of feels like it's kind of dry no lie it, it definitely like right now is screaming for me to have some moisture too. now the thing that makes me nervous about you know moisturizers with spf in them is that they leave me looking chalky and like casket shop like go ahead girl roll out the hearse and throw me in it like my face just looks washed out and i hate it kind of has the same scent as the facial cleanser my facial moisturizers i like to do like all four corners of the face and then kind of rub them in Hmm, it kind of has a little thickness to it. And apparently what is used for the sunblock itself is safe for coral reefs. So that's great. You're going out swimming, going to the beach and stuff. You don't have to worry about, you know, damaging the marine life. So I think that's wonderful that she put enough time, effort, and energy to think about our environment with recycling and the products that we use here. Anybody else experience this when you, you use like um, SPF moisturizing, you put it on and you keep rubbing and sometimes you get like, like a white buildup. I don't know, but we don't have that here, so that's really, really nice. All in all, I think this is a great line, a great starter line. Somebody just trying to, you know, get their face routine together. I think this would be a wonderful place to start. Based upon what I need for my skin, I would definitely have to add more things to it. So like I said, I would add like another moisturizing toner. I'd probably put another type of hydrating moisturizer before I put this on because like my face i just like my face to feel really really moisturized i'm going to continue using these products for another month and i'm going to come back and got and give you guys my honest review oh so, you know in a month's time we can see that you know the fenty skin really clear my skin did i really look like the people in the commercial now we'll see so I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions review. If you have tried these products or you're interested in trying these products, definitely hit me down in the comments box below and let me know. If you have any more questions about these products, you want to go into greater detail, let me know. I'll definitely leave it down in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this video. And until next time, see you later. Hey, before you go, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.